seconds. So we're just looking at. Good evening, afternoon, folks. Good evening. Good evening. Again. <laughs> again, I was doing this last time you were here. Um, it's good to be here with you this afternoon, here with Nick, uh, my uncle, and uh, thanks very much. Um, there's a lot of you have, have bought his album, which is wonderful. And uh, there's, there's, he's brought another box. So if you haven't bought it yet, <laughs> uh, there's plenty. There's plenty. So uh, get, get involved. You get them at the shop. Okay, what are you playing first today? Oh, we'll do the 79th farewell to Gibraltar okay. and Australian ladies. Cool. <laughs> said it's sounding bra. It's so, sounding bra? What's yeah. that mean? I'm not sure. I think it's the way they speak down south. That's it? Yeah, he lives south How of Paris. How do you spell bra? B-R-A-W. B-R-A-W. Yeah. Hello, Mark. How are you today? You all right? Good to be back with Graham here and uh, having a wee tune. Yes. You uh, been working hard, Graham, this last while? I think so. Eh? I think so. I've not had time for anything else. So must not be. had time for I anything else? I don't know if that's what people call working, but I'm... Working, oh, my well. thing. get all your Christmas presents brought. No, you guys out there, all your Christmas presents brought. A lot of them been buying them off the website. Which Are they? Wonderful. Yeah, it's been good. Oh, well, that's yeah. all. Thank you, all the uh, people who have bought uh, the CD that uh, Game put on for me on his uh, shop. Uh, very kind of you all to purchase one. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, we'll carry on with a week. Couple of two fours here. I mean, Meldrum's welcome to Bon Accord, followed by the Loch Harbour ga Gathering. <laughs>
go. Is that so, okay, Graham? Yeah, that's good. Do you're you doing well today. You're playing well today. You're, you're doing really well so far, but uh, don't jinx it too early. Eh? Don't, don't, go, don't get cocky, though. No? No. <laughs> Joking. Uh, do you want me to put up that wee message that you wanted to do? Oh, a wee Please. message. I, uh, well, we'll get the wee heads up for A wee on. heads up start. Uh, yeah. The last time I was here on the 1st of November, it was we, I played a waltz set, and the middle tune was a tune that I had put a few notes together myself and not, uh, not given a name to it. I've decided on a name. Just a bit, a bit closer, just to make a sure bit. they can hear you all right. As I said, the, the, on the 1st of November this year, and I played a set of waltzes, and the, the middle tune was a tune that composed myself. And uh, what I you asked me what the name was. I hadn't got a name at that point in time, but I've decided on a name, And but we're going to try and get you guys to work it out, and Graham's going to put up a wee message on the screen. That's the name of the tune, but... Uh, We'll play it to you later on, but I'm wait to see who's the first to sort out the conundrum up there to see nice. if it's any good. It's like playing on countdown. Uh, it's a countdown. <laughs> but the trouble is here. There's not a. Um, it's not who wants to be a millionaire job. No, no. There's no prizes. No prizes. No, I don't think no. so. No, I, I can't afford a prize. Can you no. afford a prize? No, no, I don't think so. Just we, we could just send a message to the winner saying, "Well done," and have a. Are we clap? Are we clap? Yeah. I'll we'll follow this with a, a, a set of waltzes. Uh, leave it up. I'll make it a bit smaller, uh, maybe. I'll oh, I can it leave it up for them and uh, give them a chance to work it out. Yeah, Has it, someone it worked it out? Have they worked it out yet? Uh, no, nobody said anything. Nobody yet. said anything yet. They're off for a cup of tea probably just now. Maybe. But there's still in summer and another we tune uh, Sorrento Thoughts. <laughs>
first. Maureen Ritchie, was it? Who got it first? Hey, Maureen Ritchie got it first, yeah. Uh, Maureen cheating so she goes to the Highland Accordion and Fiddle Club. I know Maureen, yes. Oh. How are you today, Maureen? You're doing well getting that first, but I think you must know I came from Caithness, so yeah. she jumped the gun a wee bit, did you? <laughs> Ah, oh, that's wonderful. That's good. I can take it off now, maybe. Um, yes, you're correct. So it was the moment of the case. We'll do it in a wee while. Yes, we'll do it in a wee while, but not do it. Uh, I was looking to see as well, uh, Catherine, Su- uh, sorry, Caroline Sutherland was commenting. Do you know her? Caroline Sutherland? Caroline Sutherland. Where's Caroline Sutherland? Um, I couldn't find her first, one, but uh, Betty's watching. Oh, hi, Caroline. Hi, Brian. Hi. Betty's watching too. Yeah, Betty's watching. Oh, well. And Brora. Yeah, and Donald. Yes, take care and uh, hope to catch up with you soon. Uh, difficult times this year. Betty's my sister and difficult times to catch up with you, but uh, hopefully next year we'll catch up with you and uh, nice of you to join us and listen. Okay, yeah. Oaken. Carry on a wee bit, Aye. or we'll go for a cup of tea. Oh, wouldn't mind one, but I suppose we'd better carry on. Do you think? Will yeah. they not go? Will they not just they'll, go? They'll, they'll riot. Will they? Yeah. Are they like they'll, that? They'll be chucking things out the windows of the cabin. I try a wee polka this time, the Royal Scots Polka. They like this. One. <laughs> Froze. Ah, we're just relying on the technology. So technology has gone. Uh, for some reason, it's uh, a bit temperamental today. We'll play that waltz just now, or not? Sure, yeah, yeah. If I can remember it. Sure you can remember it. If I can remember it. Weeks since I've done it. It's a month. Month is it? It's a month. Is it?
Yes, yeah, straight to Doug. We'll get it published. Get it published. I'll get it published, and then everyone <laughs> can not play it like every other. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, that's good. We'll get it. So memories of Caithness. Is what memories of Caithness. Yes. Nice Having time. spent quite a bit of my time and yes. our life in Caithness, growing up there. I don't have any uh, memories of Caithness. No, Graham's got no when memories. I lived there, anyway. You were you you weren't around lives. when in Caithness. You weren't I, born in Caithness. Three right? when we left Caithness. You were three. Well, I was thirty something when I left Caithness, but. Uh, Yes, I have good memories of Keithers and playing in Mackay's dance band. Have you heard of them? Have you? have you heard of them? I've heard of them. That's before you were invented. That's what's uh, Yes, Mackay's dance band we covered from Latheran, Leipster, Wick, Mackay's Hotel, Rosebank Hotel Shortest was very... Shortest in the world, Ebenezer Place. Uh, Rosebank Hotel was very popular for weddings Rose at that Bank. time. I don't know about that. Is that in Wick? Uh, it's, it wasn't... Yes, it's in Wick. It's on the way into Wick from Watton. Oh. Uh, Morton Hall, Halskirk Hall, Bower Hall, May Hall. If anyone was in those halls when those dances <laughs> were taking place, um, give us a let, shout. Let us know, <laughs> and maybe you can uh, tell us some secrets of see, what the band got up to. See you and John Groats, and, uh, oh, right. and then we travelled up to Strathy. Strathy, I mean, we played in Strathy Hall. The Strathy. New one. I mean, we played in the new one. Yes. We opened it, the Millennium Hall. Yes, Strathy Hall. Yeah. We played there on a Saturday night, and the bar, the pubs closed about uh, 10 o'clock, and the dance didn't start to half past 10. At that time, the dance was finished at 11 o'clock. Oh, <laughs> a yeah, half hour. It's quite, it's quite normal. That's, that's, that still goes on. Strathy up Coast. to uh, Melvick, and then up to oh Norman, down. Norman says Skera Hall. Skera, oh, that was great dances in Skera Hall, Tongue Hall. Murray Kogel says he remembers them. I remember uh, we were up to play in Tongue one night and we were going up to Drum Hollister with our Ford Transit van at that time and the fan belt broke halfway up Drum Holliston uh, on the way to Tongue mm -hmm. and the engine was overheating of course and a car stopped or, and behind us a couple were going to the dance in Tongue actually and they said they've got a problem they said yes the fan belt's broken so the lady kindly had a spare pair of t uh, nylons. Oh, ideal. And we tied them up, and it got us to Tongue Hall, but it never got us home. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who the lady was. So Did you get towed home, then? <laughs> well, we had to wait till the, the wives come up and oh, picked, you up. picked us up and took oh. us home. Oh, well. Yeah. A, a wee set here of uh, Jigs, uh, Lamb Skinnet, uh, Genius Blue Bluein, and Bonnie Dundee. Okay, a chord, do you? A chord start? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Here now, she just got in from work. Oh, well, just got in from work. Ah, she says hello. Hello, hello, mum. That's good. 
76 people watching, that's good. It's for, right. for an afternoon, maybe who, I should do more afternoon. Who did you say, who was watching Maureen? Rick Kogel, oh, no, no. Uh, who was watching that? Uh, uh, Murray Kogel. Oh, Murray Kogel. Yeah. She's quite often here, she's a very good supporter of the cabin. Uh, Edmund Brown, Carol Forbes is in Glen Rothes. Uh, we're covering the world as well. There's Elizabeth, she's in Rhode Island, and we've got Elaine who's out in Maryland. Wow. As well, so we've got quite a lot of international followers. Rhode Island. get them all tagged on my wee map up there. Is it warmer in Rhode Island than it is here? Well, I, hope, I don't know. Where's Rhode Island? It's on the It's east. on the other side. No, it's on the east side. The, the, oh, the east side of America, isn't it? It's the other side of the pond. Aye. A bit of a walk. Well, what we... Two fours, is it? Two fours. Leaving the knocker. Mm -hmm. um, Billy McCarty is asking if you know his dad, who's Willie McCarty. I've heard the name. Yeah, it's from Arbroath. It's oh. funeral. Arbroath? Yeah. Not personally. <laughs> um, but you would have seen... I think he played at the Button Box Gathering. The name seems to uh, come to mind. Uh, Leaving Malkart and uh, Mrs. MacDonald of Danach.
Because you're a bit cut off then. Eh? Couldn't see your fingers. Couldn't see my fingers. Oh, yeah. I stopped. Did the camera move? I stopped playing, sir. You stopped playing? Aye. Oh, how are you? Yeah, did you notice? Carried, something carried on. You didn't the notice. The box plays itself then, if that's the case, isn't it? Yes, I've, uh, I've got this box to... Uh, turned into a sort of computer so that if I make a mistake it writes itself and it it's just a spell check. That's what you need. It's nice to be with you again Graham and uh, the year's drawing to a close I'm afraid and uh, Christmas and Hogmanay's on the horizon. Yeah, a week on Friday. A week Christmas. on Friday, yes a week on um, Friday is Christmas and then after that it's Hogmanay and two weeks tomorrow. I understand that having chatted to Graham that he's doing a Hogmanay show and uh, Graham's worked hard all year, I think, and uh, provided you all with uh, great music over the period of time. And uh, as I keep thinking, he's done a power of work and uh, sitting in his cabin and entertaining you when he should be out playing at gigs and stuff like oh, that. Yeah. But it's been a difficult year, and uh, but I think Graham has put himself about and put himself out. And I hope you all... Uh, Go for the Hogmanay show because it, I am sure it will be a, a nice uh, end to the year for all the people that's listening to Graham over the year. And uh, get your tickets because they're going fast and uh, I don't know how many's left, about 10 or 15, something? Yeah, they're, they're reasonably unlimited. But, uh, they're unlimited, <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, uh, but there's plenty. There's, there's no room in the cabin for more, he says. There's, <laughs> there's, I would love more to, to buy, so that'd be great. Yes, it's, uh, and I think... Uh, because Graham's entertained you so well over the year, as some th other artists too have entertained people, but uh, they're all struggling for income these days, and uh, it's okay for my time of life, because I'm on my pension, you see, and... Uh, I don't even think I'll get a pension, I have no idea. No? I don't know if that will still exist when I get to that age. Probably not, yeah. no. But uh, hope you're all enjoying the bit of music in the afternoon. We're going do another set of waltzes here, probably if they're in waltzes, and yeah. if you're feeling like getting up and going around the kitchen table or the lounge table or the dining room table or outside if you're social distancing. Uh, an Irish one, uh, Sweet Rosie O'Grady, Wild Irish Rose, The Boys of County Armagh, and Peggy o Peggy O'Neill. <laughs>
like that set. I need to get a copy of that from you, I think. A copy of that? I'll learn it for next time. <laughs> oh, you don't? <laughs> oh, that's me. That's the second time through. For, I mean, a, lot, a couple of tunes I've played before. But yes. Yeah, it's nice. I like them. Yes, we can use uh, enough. Uh, no problem, but how about a wee copy of that? Yeah, cool. I was just going through the comments there. Lots of people saying lots of lovely things uh, in regards to the comments you were making. Like, but, uh, Christine Logan says, I've been uh, the rock all the way through this terrible time of year. That's nice. Uh, Graham's been a rock, see? Yeah, apparently so. Uh, Mark says, not to forget Ross and the boys, and uh, of course uh, Maggie and Veronica are doing tunes as well. So yes, sorry, I don't. Not just me, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just in charge of the operation. Oh, what about me? I suppose we should thank you no, for coming. No, no, no. <laughs> just inviting yourself <laughs> over. It, it's been a... Uh, it's made me work uh, at uh, learning a few new tunes, which is uh, also takes my mind of other things that's going on in the world today. And uh, it's, good to have it's a been to practice as well, isn't it? It's, it's a reason for practice. If you're practicing and nothing to practice for, it's not so easy as uh, the trouble is with this one here. You don't get an opportunity to record it, and if you make a mistake, you can cut it. And uh, well, we could. But we could. It's, not, it's more fun this way because we've got the comments coming in. Uh, I do prefer it. Yes. Uh, Tom Andrews says big thanks to all these folks keeping us entertained. Lovely listening to the two boxes getting played so well together. Good. Well, we're going to dive into unknown territory here. All right. <laughs> oh, take, yeah, I'm sure you make samples. Take, take a wee gamble here to see if the fingers will. Uh, my fingers don't travel as fast as Graham, so just please uh, hold with me at this point in time. If you're thinking why I'm looking down the whole time, it's because uh, at my time of life there's so much notes and rubbish in my head that I need the notes to sort of guide me. Not that I'm sight reading, but I know what's coming next, yeah, or I think I think with no, I think I know what's coming next. Okay. Right, we're gonna try a, a wee nine eight, the Battle of the Song, and then I'm really pushing the boat out here by having a wee go at Mrs. McPherson of Inveran. That's another pipe tune by G.S. McLennan. He wrote a lot of pipe tunes and yeah. very uh, challenging pipe tunes. Yeah, a very talented composer. Yes. So maybe I'm just maybe no, you'd be fine. Bite, biting off more than I can chew. No, no. You, you played it well earlier. So <laughs> that was yesterday, though. <laughs> <laughs> Bad. Yeah, you got there. Uh, what do you think we should do now? 
No. I've I'm nothing left. Have you finished your tunes? I, I've finished my tunes. Yeah, okay. Have you done enough for them, or do you think you should deserve more? Well, there's been a lot of people asking if I'm going to play this five road, so I don't know if we should have a shot while you're here. Well, uh, I'm not sure. We think this, the two five rows will speak to each other. I don't know. Huh? It's a lot bigger and heavier than this. <laughs> it's a fair difference. We'll try it. What do you think we'll try? Yeah, you, you lead and I'll... <laughs> I lead. Um, I, I might get lost. Um, well, I already am. Uh, <laughs> Too much information here. We'll do uh of this guy yeah it's a lot of people have been asking me when it's going to reveal I'm just going to come out yourself that I, bought, I bought it so it's, this is a 1957-58 Honor Merino 5 row and uh, it's I've not had a, the practice time I was hoping to have in the last couple of weeks uh, but it's good you'll notice that uh, I said Graham said he, well I have a go at it as well I've got black notes and white notes, and that's rather confusing because that one's they're, they're all sort of pearl coloured. Although Graham says they are marked, but. Uh, eh? That's a secret. Oh, it's a secret! <laughs> no, it won't. He's got a. Uh, there's, there's little marks that somebody's put no, on. No, he's put on here. some uh, ink. Uh, I, it's I, like I, when a, a youngster's learning to play, he puts on wee it. marks on the keys. But yeah. uh, you want to try anything else or not? I don't know. No? Maybe. I'll try some jigs. Try the Apple Highlanders, there we go. What do you need? Hi. <laughs> Playing it, it's good. Good, we'll get there, we'll, yes, we'll get it mastered. Um, 
eventually. So thank you very much for coming along and playing today. today. It's been a pleasure, Graham, and thanks all the folks for listening and all the best for Christmas and uh, Hogmanay when it comes around and uh, difficult times, but we hope that maybe come to 2021 things will be different and uh, depends how things are then. I might be back to see you in 21 for a, a one-off or uh, we'll just wait and see. But all the best to everyone anyway and uh, all the best to you, Graham. Take care. And yourself. Thanks for coming. Right, let's just figure out how to, to switch this off now. We'll put the Hogman name advert up for those that haven't seen it yet. So all the best to you all. We'll see you. We'll see you oh, I'll be on at 8 o'clock tonight. So uh, we'll see you then, yeah? Cheers. <laughs>